What's up everybody, The Poets here, and this is gonna be a slightly different video because uh, one, I hope everybody's staying home, staying safe, and part of the reason for this video is because, yes, I'm staying home, staying safe, uh, but I can also work from home too, being an investment advisor, therefore, I can easily go stir crazy because just waking up, working from home, then staying at home, I like to be outside as much as possible. So I can go by the pool and my, you know, this area where I live, we have a swimming pool, um, you know, kind of fitness gym, uh, but some of that is closed, but there's still like a patio area where I can go have cigars and be right next to the pool as well. Uh, so the Wi-Fi that I have with Spectrum, it's gigabit internet um, using this uh, router. It's the 802.11 AC. Um, so it is fast. It's fine for when I'm inside my place. All my devices get great speeds, great connection. Uh, but when I'm at the pool, it's a no-go. I can, I can kind of see the Wi-Fi signal, but you know, there's no bars, you know, so there's no hope for connecting. Uh, so no matter where I place this, it, it just doesn't really, it's not usable uh, by the pool or by the patio. So what I did was I went ahead and got this. This is the ASUS AX3000. It's Wi-Fi 6, actually. So it's the 802.11 AX standard. Uh, supposedly, it's many times faster. This is the 3000 megabits per second. Uh, megabits per second, uh, that confused me, but 3000 uh, speeds. It's supposed to have much better range. And um, obviously, with Wi-Fi 6, you have um, the packet sizes are different. Basically, it's kind of different technology. So you can have a lot more devices on it. Um, and everything is just going to go faster with much longer range as well. So I did do a test and it's up here in my kitchen. So you can see here, I just ran a 50 foot internet cable around to see if while it's up here, if it's actually going to reach while I'm at the pool and um, cigar area. Long story short, Yes, it does reach. The speed is fine, um, so I'm really liking this router, uh, but having a 50-foot cord <laughs> going from the, uh, you know, where it comes in into the wall, you know, to my computer, to, you know, all the way over there, that's not practical. So, what I am going to try is this. Ugh. This is the big brother of it. This is the ASUS AX6000. So with this, it goes from 6,000 megabytes per second, megabits per second, I don't know. I, I always get that confused, so don't judge. Um, but this one, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, plug this in by my PC to see if it actually reaches all the way by the pool then, because that would be really, really cool. If it doesn't, that's fine, because these two things are mesh compatible. So I can actually link the two of these. So I can have one of them up above the cabinet in the kitchen here, and it's not visible at all. I can just kind of tuck it in the corner, won't even know it's there. And the other one connected to it wirelessly by my PC. So my PC will be plugged in directly by a nice little snaky cable. So it'll get in the fastest possible speeds. And this, is, this thing has eight gigabit ports. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be happy with that. But, because my bottleneck is actually um, going through another person's living quarters uh, into the pool area, I'm actually going to use the big boy here in the kitchen as well. So I'm going to kind of do a test first. First, plug this into my PC, see if it just reaches all the way over there. I doubt it, um, but that would be cool if it does, because uh, then I'll just return the, the baby boy here. Um, but if, uh, if that doesn't work out, then I will actually use the big boy in the kitchen because it's going to have a much stronger signal, faster signal as well, um, and hopefully that reaches by the pool and cigar area. The, um, this may seem a bit opposite, um, but you have to think about what my bottleneck is. So my internet speed, it's gigabit internet speed, so I'm not going to go faster than gigabit. So even though this does, so my internet speed is 1000 megs per second, this will do 6000, the smaller one will do 3000, my bottleneck's still 1000. So I don't really care which one is where, I just need internet by the pool and by my patio cigar area. So that's what you have to think about when you're buying devices. What is practical? Um, ideally, I just wanna take the smaller one back. And, well, ideally, I'd like to take the bigger one back and just use the smaller one, but that's not feasible, unfortunately. So the big one, ideally, just for everything, 
Um, probably not going to work, you know, but we'll see. I'm going to test it. And then um, we'll just kind of go from there. But the mesh network is really cool with the SUSE product. So basically you have a bunch of Wi-Fi routers around, they're all on the same network, and you're just making your signal um, that much more robust for whatever you need to do. All right, so we're gonna just kind of go outside. I'm gonna take my Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 out there. Uh, just do a quick Wi-Fi speed test with the, you can see it, but it's the AX3000 uh, first. So we're gonna try this one. Um, I already kind of know the speeds, but I want to get on record for the video here of uh, what it is for download and upload, signal strength overall, and um, we'll just kind of go from there. So this is the um, 802.11ax, so it's Wi-Fi 6, uh, much better than that stock Spectrum, even though it's a gigabit router. All right, outside. All right, so I'm kind of at the uh, poolish area. Well, w Windows Hello does not uh, recognize you when you're wearing one of these. Uh, so just wanted to do a quick test because uh, this is where I like to do a lot of work outside. Beautiful day out here. And as you can see, um, the speed for the Wi-Fi um, is kind of bouncing around. It says 144 megabytes per second uh, is the connection. It does bounce up to 1.2 gigabyte, gigabytes per second. Um, and so I ran a speed test. And so it's showing my ping is 13 download is 56 and upload is 32 so that's completely usable uh, for everything I need to do for work obviously I wish it was faster when I'm inside I'm getting like seven eight hundred download but uh, upload is actually max because that's actually the max even though I have gigabit internet uploads are only between like 30 and 40 uh, upload unfortunately ping is great too perfectly fine so we'll uh, this is the the AX 3000 that's uh, got a 50 foot Ethernet cord uh, up and so this is where I like to be. So now I'm going to see if if I attach the AX6000, the big boy, to my PC, which is further away, will that still reach out here? That would be golden if that does, because then I'll just return the AX3000. Save me a little bit of money, buy a few more cigars, uh, or save the money really, that's what I'm going to do. And um, that would be nice, but if not, then I'm going to attach the AX6000, since that's going to broadcast a stronger signal up above the uh, cabinetry in the kitchen and that will be linked to the AX3000 on the PC so that's going to be a nice mesh Wi-Fi network and then that 6000 will have a stronger signal to come out here so remember my bottleneck already is just my internet connection it's, it's only 1000 megs per second AX3000 is 3000 so that's going to go from the PC to the kitchen to the 6000 and the 6000 is going to be broadcasting that 6000 speed to out here but no matter what it's still going to be all limited to 1000 due to spectrum internet being so slow <laughs> all right so next stage this is what i was just speed testing outside so this is the ax3000 um it gave me a good signal but now we're going to test the big boy so this one was or is above the uh, cabinetry in the kitchen my goal is just to have this attached to the PC, the 6000, and hopefully it reaches all the way to the swimming pool and um, the cigar lounge, my cigar lounge outdoor area. So, um, let's see. Uh, this is not an unboxing channel, um, so it'll be rare that I actually do any type of unboxing because I, I just don't care. I'm more of a, what's practical, you know, you need to find your balance in life, what is going to help you achieve what you need to achieve, um, and not be a, a technology pain. Technology should be something that aids what you do, not uh, hinders. So, this is definitely heavy. Uh, words, instructions, instructions. So, we're gonna see all that, but I thought I'd just kinda show you what this thing looks like first. Because again, I, I don't care about unboxings. I watch unboxings, like Unbox Therapy, I'll watch them all day long, which I have many, many times. Um, so it's got a couple of receiver points, points for the antennas. So that's what's going to really help this thing out in terms of its range and power. Uh, look at that, eight gigabit ports. This thing is, is nice. So yeah, I'm going to set this up, attach it to my PC, uh, see if I get a signal uh, all the way outside that's strong enough. That would be ideal. Uh, if not, then we're going to do the mesh setup. Uh, so we're going to set this one up uh, in the kitchen 
and then see what kind of signal we have there. All right, so these are the antennas. These are actually much nicer than the AX3000 antennas. We have this like kind of see-through area, plastic gold plating. So that, that'll be kind of nice. I wonder how that really helps with the uh, reception power. I'm a professional unboxer. So we have your uh, power brick. This is exactly the same as the AX3000. Nice little snaky cord and more words. All right, best unboxing video ever. Okay, so that was a quick and easy setup, setting up the ASUS AX6000, um, just flawless. The only thing I have to do was uh, unplug the modem from Spectrum down there and uh, plug it back in again, and then I was able to be on the internet. I had to do that with the AX3000 as well, so if you get a an aftermarket uh, router and you're having issue connecting to the internet, unplug it, plug it back in, you know, flush the toilet, that's what I always say, jiggle the handle. Um, so this thing looks great. Absolutely love the look. And I'm going to mount it probably like up here. The, I wanted to initially put it up here, but these are vents and it's blowing hot air out of here. And so that's not gonna work out too well. Uh, the AX3000 was kind of small enough where I could have it right here and the air kind of blew out this way and this way. So it wasn't too bad. This thing is, um, it's bigger. So I may actually kind of make a nice little shelf right here and have that as a nice looking showpiece because I'm a tech guy. And you'll see this is my office PC. So that's a video coming and this keyboard is, yeah, it needs to be updated. Um, this is my power supply. The only thing that's plugged into this is the PC. Just one plug um, besides that cell phone charger down there. Uh, because the Threadripper does take so many watts that it maxes this out when it's on full load. So I had to get a second one. So all my internet and everything else is just kind of plugged into this one. Uh, so I have two backup uh, power supplies. And then of course the cable modems plugged into that. So that's what's going on here. I did a quick speed test. 751 megs download, 11 ping. Um, you know, so this is attached to the cable. Uh, so now I'm going to do a test outside with this right here. I'm not going to move it. Um, so there's going to be some interference from the monitor, some interference in the kitchen, you know, the appliances and stuff. Um, microwaves are really bad when it comes to interfering with Wi-Fi signals, but this is Wi-Fi 6. So it will do a decent job compared to your traditional spectrum or, you know, your stock modem. Uh, so let's go outside with the Surface Laptop 3 and just see what speeds we get and go from there. And in the name of research, I just did a quick speed test while I'm inside right here. And I'm getting about 600 uh, roughly uh, download, you know, almost 30 up. All right, be safe everybody. So it's kind of as I expected. Uh, the AX6000 attached to my PC, it, it's viewable here, but I'm not getting any speeds because it's gotta go through so much. It's going from my PC all the way through the kitchen, through the, like, the microwave, the appliances, through the next apartment condo next door. Um, all the way out here to the swimming pool and you know lounges area so the 3000 which is in the kitchen it sees it perfectly fine so I'm going to swap it out so I'm going to have the 6000 in the kitchen which is then going to be mesh connected to the 3000 which is going to be physically connected to my PC and the uh, cable modem over there so that should be perfectly fine bit with Kyle he did a nice video on having two AX 6000s and he had amazing speeds uh, so definitely check his video out um, if you want to see what that's like. This is going to be a 3000 and a 6000. So always get the appropriate hardware for your needs and like your signal, you know, strength and all that stuff. Uh, so this is going to be perfect for me. Ideally, we're going to go through that next step of setting up the mesh network now. So this is what it looks like when you're setting up a mesh network. You're going to have both routers kind of side by side. Uh, because you're gonna have to plug one at a time into your PC so that you can set it up correctly. Um, I had to plug this one, the 3000 in uh, now and obviously I had to reset the Spectrum cable modem again. So uh, that's kind of an annoying thing, but just expect to do that if you're going to be doing any of this mesh network stuff. So both the AX3000 uh, and 6000 are getting firmware updates right now. 
and anytime you get something new that's kind of like this uh, just check to make sure that you know you can update the firmware because there might be some bugs kinks or just new features uh, that you don't want to miss out on and asus's setup is is easy it's literally click the button says check for updates there was an update it's installing it that's it uh, so nice and simple and easy and so i'll be on all the newest stuff um, they're both getting updates at the same exact time they're going to be on the mesh network so uh, that's kind of how you want to do it just do it all at the same time yes it takes more time to do the updates but you might be missing out on some features security flaw bugs anything uh, so you, you don't want to miss out on any of that so always update so this asus software was really nice um, easy to use it's kind of dummy proof it just kind of walks you through it basically says you need to put these things uh, very close together which i did the first time I did it, they were a bit too far apart, I guess. So I just kind of smashed them together and then it worked successfully. Uh, so this big boy here, the 6000, I'm going to put that in the kitchen above the cabinetry. And then we're going to do some speed tests uh, outside by the pool, you know, lounge area. And uh, I'll let you know how that goes. It is simply a beautiful day out here. So success. We have uh, very strong connection speeds. It's showing 1.2 gig. Uh, connection speed from the laptop to the AX6000, which is in the kitchen above the cupboards. And speed test is showing me about 93 megs per second download, uh, which is incredibly fast uh, for what I need out here. So, um, yeah, that means uh, that worked. You know, the AX3000 connected to the PC, connected to the AX6000 in the kitchen, uh, which is connected to my laptops and everything. It's all, you know, five gigahertz. So yeah, I'm happy um, and it is now cigar time. So thanks for watching everybody. Uh, please like you know the video, I'd love that. Hit the subscribe button, I have more videos coming. And um, you know, definitely put some uh, comments uh, below because uh, if you have like different experiences with uh, this AI mesh stuff or any other type of um, uh, linkages of routers throughout your house, please let me know. Uh, this was a very easy process, so definitely comment as much as possible. I read all the comments and respond to as many of them as I can. Uh, and uh, a lot more videos to come. So thank you very much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, wear your mask, don't touch your face, all that stuff, wash your hands, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I actually... I clean this myself every day. Even though the staff comes here and cleans it, I, I clean it myself too. So, mm. bye.